Hey CrossFit Fort Vancouver family, how you doing? Colin here. Uh, thanks for staying with us with the Outside the Box program. Today we're going to go over Wednesday's workout, uh, so make sure you crank up your western tunes. Uh, so today, uh, first thing before we get into this, today's question of the day, right? If you have to shelter in place, what is the one food item that is a must have for you? A must have for you. For me, Coach Con. Uh, Trader Joe's fried rice. That is my go-to. All right, let's go over today's warm-up. Uh, two to three times through, consisting of five inchworms plus a dive bomber and a cobra uh, movement that you were introduced to on Monday, followed by dead bugs, single leg glute bridges, bird dogs, burpees, v-ups, and then 15 seconds of forward and backward hops, and then 15 seconds of lateral hops. Let's quickly go over those movements. So the first one is an inchworm with a dive bomber into a cobra, right? So my feet are gonna start underneath my hips, walk out, inchworm style, dive bomb into a cobra pose, right? If I want, I can inch my hands in towards my feet and into the next one, or inch my hands back towards my feet for the completion of one rep. The next one, dead bugs. This is where I'm lying down on my back, right? Total of five on each arm, or think 10 total. Opposite arm, opposite leg, elongate your body, staying tight in the core. That would constitute as two reps. There's rep three and rep four, right? Next movement, single leg glute bridges, right? Feet are hip width apart, lift those hips up, get those knees so they're lined with one another. Five on one side, Stay tight in that core, five on the other. Movement after that is bird dogs. Five on each side, or again, a total of 10. On my hands and knees, opposite arm, opposite leg. Stretch out the arm, stretch out that leg. There's three and four, all right? After that, we have burpees, chest and thigh hit the ground. Place your hands, a little jump and clap. V up, which Coach Tina went over the other day, right? Hollow body position, meet those feet in the middle. V ups. And then last but not least, our forward and backward hops. 15 seconds forward, and then lateral hops side to side. Two to three times on that for the warm up. Let's dig into your workout for the day today. 15 minute AMRAP, as many rounds or reps as possible, consisting of 10 sit-ups, 15 dumbbell or kettlebell squats, 20 dumbbell or kettlebell snatches or swings, followed by 25 double unders or tuck jumps, right? We'll go over modifications and just to review the movement. So 15 minute running clock, all those movements constitutes one round and then you'll repeat, right? Sit-ups. We've done these before. Sit up, touch your toes. You can go butterfly style if you have an ab mat, right? Next, we have dumbbell squats. Dumbbell or kettlebell squats. Dumbbell, you're gonna hold it in that goblet position, like so. You can also hold it like this, right? Kettlebell, same concept. 15 total there. Next, we go into that dumbbell snatch or kettlebell snatch, right? Alternating arms. Or I can go into a kettlebell snatch. 10 on each arm. And then I'll switch sides. Make sure I punch that lockout. Arms, hips, and knees locked out and staying tight in that core. If snatches are too challenging for us to go overhead, then a good modification would be swings, the dumbbell, or with the kettlebell. Squeeze that butt and squeeze that gut as I lock out, going eye level. And last but not least, you're gonna have your trusty jump rope for double unders. If double unders are a challenge, just think about doubling that number to go singles 
If we don't have a jump rep, then we can go with tuck jumps. Tuck jumps, I'm gonna jump and pull my knees to my chest. Right, there's one, there's two, there's three. That'll get you really fired up and breathing heavy. But that is our 15 minute AMRAP. Hopefully you don't have any questions after those demo, uh, demos of the movement. And then at the very end for a cool down, two times through the pinwheel, 90 seconds. We've done this one. Start where you're in a scorpion stance, cross your body, grab that leg, and then grab my foot. So I add that quad stretch while focusing on trying to keep those shoulder blades on the ground. 90 seconds on one side. 90 seconds on the other side. Thanks for tuning in. We miss you guys dearly. Crank up that Western music and have a great workout.